Hi, my name is Professor Lam Ki Po. I'm the Dean of the School of Design and Environment in the National University of Singapore. This is SDE4, which is the first net zero energy building in NUS as well as in Singapore. Buildings do not exist in isolation. These trees that you're seeing here are in fact originally on site. The building as well as the tree are really now coexisting together. We also are at the same time aware that the environment also has this other important resource that is water. If it is raining, the water that we collect on the roof will be directed and this will become a natural fountain. And now we are in the building. We talk about it in terms of a biophilic design, which is basically a phenomenon that we as human beings have a natural affinity to nature. With a huge overhang and the roof, that shading really helps us to reduce the solar impact inside the building. And what that translates to is to reduce the need for energy consumption to cool the building. We also want to encourage students to interact and to collaborate. The deployment of what we call a hybrid air conditioning system. Hybrid that combines the traditional air conditioning with the deployment of ceiling fans. We are able to bring in 100% outside air. Hello, thank you. <laughs> now what this space is designed and to study the various uh, combination of building performance for a typical two-bedroom apartment. As you can see here is that it is lifted up uh, onto this by this uh, columns so that the researchers can access by fitting in different sensors and meters. We are now on the top floor of this SDE4 building and even on the top floor as you can see we attempt to introduce planting and students can actually come out here and have their discussion, relax. Circulation spaces are not just meant for circulation but they can be gathering spaces, they can be discussion spaces. This weather is perfect for solar PV energy collection. These panels are generating up to 500 megawatt hours a year and that is sufficient to meet all the energy needs of this building. If we continue to even further reduce our energy consumption, this building could potentially be net positive. And whenever we have collection or access, we put it into the grid and then we can share it with the other buildings on campus. The important lesson here is that we really have to push for this concept of net zero energy. In my opinion, the only way to make some real impact contributing to the sustainable development and we will be able to succeed uh, in, in, the, in the long run.